What's up, my friends? So, I've decided to do a playthrough of The Last of Us. The Last of Us Remastered for the School Zone in anticipation of the long-awaited sequel that drops on May 29th. Not just a playthrough, though, a trivia walkthrough. I'm pretty psyched about it. I'll be using the model I used for the Outer Worlds trivia walkthroughs where I narrated the gameplay and had trivia pop-ups on the side. I think that'll be a good mix for this so we can get through it in a reasonable amount of time. This is just too good of a game not to do it, you know? I know it's a few years old, but I wouldn't be doing it if the sequel wasn't dropping on May 29th, and that is going to be just a bombshell, so I can't wait for that. Now, I know this is a PlayStation exclusive, so I feel you if you only have an Xbox, but to be perfectly honest, I used to watch YouTuber walkthroughs of games I couldn't get all the time to enjoy the experience of the game, you know? And there's no better example of something like The Last of Us, where it's almost like watching a movie, you know what I mean? And it's not just a horror movie, it's also a survival story, an adventure, an emotional drama, it's just got it all. Very character driven, yet just enough action and intrigue to keep you on your toes, you know? I've also played through the game a few times, so I'll be able to make it a fairly fluid experience and not be floundering around like a fish. Now I'm going to be posting episodes early to my Patreon account for those in the student council to enjoy and then I'll be releasing them in rapid succession in the month before the sequel arrives to get you psyched for it. So can't wait for that. So if you've played the game before, you'll enjoy my take on it as well as the trivia pop-ups. You know, some interesting stuff to cover in this game. If you've never played it or even seen the game before, get your popcorn because you're in for a ride. Tommy, listen to me. He is the contractor. He's the contractor, okay? I can't lose this job. I, I understand. Let, let's talk about this in the morning, okay? We'll talk about it in the morning. All right, good night. Hey. Scoot. Fun day at work, huh? What are you still doing up? It's late. Oh, God, what time is it? It's way past your bedtime. But it's still today. Honey, please not right now. I do not have the energy for this. Here. What's this? Your birthday? You kept complaining about your broken watch. So I uh, figured, you know. You like it? Honey, this is... It's what? nice, but I... I think it's stuck. It's not... What? No, 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 no. Oh, ha, ha. Where did you get the money for this? Drugs. I sell hardcore drugs. Oh, good. You started helping out with the mortgage then. Yeah, you wish. I need to get your daddy on the phone. Uh, Uncle Tommy, what, what time is it? I need to talk to your dad now. There's something. Uh, Uncle Tommy? Uh, hello? <laughs> what was that all about? All right, I'm back in control. <laughs> That was such a cool intro, you know, it developed the relationship between the father and the daughter, you know, sets things up for later in the story. And I'm just realizing here that we can see our reflection in the mirror, man. That is so awesome. Not many games do that, you know. So it's huge props to Naughty Dog. Ooh, look, there's even... <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, the graphics in this game when I first played it just blew me away. And the amazing thing is it's still, it's like a six-year-old game. You know what I mean? And it still just looks absolutely amazing. Oh, dang it. I forgot to give this to him.
<laughs> yeah, one of the things that's interesting about this game is that it develops the character purely just through very limited dialogue, you know? You get a sense of what they're all about. The Bash. I'm sure that's their version of The Clash. Yeah, when I first started this game, I just spent like 20 minutes just looking at all the things on the wall. I mean, developers had to like create each individual item in here and arrange it. It's just amazing. All right, well, let's keep going. I don't want to fawn over it too much, but... uh. Dad? I mean, look at the carpet. You can even see like different shades of the carpet. It's just... Yeah, I'm just a sucker for detail. The build up here is amazing. Daddy? You in here? You seem to be somehow connected to the nationwide Where the heck pandemic. are you? We've received reports that victims afflicted with the infection show signs it's of nearby. increased aggression and... Get everybody out of here now. There's a gas leak. Hey, there seems to be some commotion coming from... Get the hell out of here! Uh, what was that? So awesome. <laughs> it's like you saw it on TV and then it out in the city. Dad? Look, it's an elliptical. <laughs> Dad? It's getting intense. What is going on? There's his phone. Eight missed calls. Where the hell are you? Call me on my way. Where is he? So I'm guessing she's probably around maybe 12 or 13 or something like that. Look at that. You can even see a reflection in the window. That tire was moving in the background. There you are. Sarah, are you okay? Yeah. Does anyone come in here? No, who would come in here? Don't go near the doors. Just, just stand back there. Dad, you're kind of freaking me out. What's going on? It's the Coopers. Some ain't right with them. I, th I think they're sick. We're kind of sick. <gasps> Jesus. Jimmy! Dad? Honey, come here. Come here. Jimmy! Jimmy, stay back! Jimmy, I am warning you! Don't! <laughs> Him. Sarah. I saw him this morning. Sammy, there is something bad going on. And we have got to get out of here. Do you understand me? Yeah. Tommy, come on. Come on. Okay. Where the hell have you been? You have any idea what's going on out there? I got some notion. Holy shit. You got blood all over you. Hey, man, let's just get out of here. You're saying half the people in the city lost their minds. Can we just please go? Or a parasite or something. You gonna tell me what happened? Later. Hey, Sarah. How you holding up, honey? I'm fine. Can we hear us on the radio? Yeah, sure thing. Thanks. No cell phone. No radio. Yeah, we're doing great. 
great. A minute ago, newsman wouldn't shut up. They said where to go. They said, uh, army's putting up roadblocks on the highway. No getting into Travis County. We need to get the hell out. Take 71. That's one man. Did they say how many are dead? Probably a lot. Found this one family all mangled inside their Tell house. Me. Right. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, how did this happen? They got no clue. But we ain't the only town. The first they're saying it's just the south. Nothing going on about the east coast, the west coast. Holy hell. That's Lewis's farm. I hope that some bitch made it out. I'm sure he did. Were we sick? No, of course not. How do you know? They said it's just uh, people in the city. We're good. Didn't Jimmy work in the city? That's right, he did. We're fine. Trust me. All right. Let's see what they need. What do you think you're doing? Keep driving. I got a kid, Joe. So do we. But we have room. Hey! Keep hey, driving, stop. Tommy. Stop! I can see what I see. Someone else will come along. You should have helped. Mother had the same damn idea. We could just backtrack and. Hey, what the fuck, man? Let's go! Tommy! Tommy! Holy shit! What the fuck just happened? What the fuck just happened? Did you see that? Yes, I saw it. God damn. Turn here, turn here. No, no, no. Come on, baby, move. What are you running from? Get us out of here. Try it. Oh no. We can't stop here, Tommy. I can't fucking drive through them, Joe. Back up there. They're behind me too. There, there, there. Hold on. Go. Damn it! 
We're almost there. We're almost there, man. They're getting through the fence! Keep going! Find your way out of here! Come on! Go! Move it! Get to the highway! Go! You got Sarah! I can outrun him! Uncle Tommy? I will meet you there! Hurry! Daddy, we can't leave him! It's gonna be fine. We're almost there. They're getting closer. It's my daughter. I think her leg is broken. Stop right there! Okay. We're not sick. We've got a couple of civilians on the outer perimeter. Please advise. Daddy, what about Uncle Tommy? We're gonna get you to safety and go back for him, okay? Sir, there's a little girl. But... Yes, sir. Somebody we've just been through hell. Okay, we just need... Please don't. Oh no. Sarah. Move your hands, baby. I know, baby, I know. God. Listen to me, I know this hurts. Me. You're gonna be okay, baby. Stay with me. I'm gonna pick you up. I know, baby. I know it hurts. Come on, baby. Please. I know, baby. I know. Sarah. Baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Don't do this to me, baby. Come on. So sad. The number of confirmed deaths has passed 200. The governor has called a state of emergency. There are hundreds and hundreds of bodies lining the streets. Panic spread worldwide after a leaked report from the World Health Organization showed that the latest vaccination tests have failed. With the bureaucrats out of power, we can finally take the necessary steps. Los Angeles is now the latest city to be placed under martial law. All residents are required to report to their designated quarantine. Riots have continued for a third consecutive day, and winter rations are at an all-time low. A group calling themselves the Fireflies have claimed responsibility for both attacks. Their public charter calls for the return of all branches of government. Demonstrations broke out following the execution of six more alleged Fireflies. Remember, when you're lost in the darkness, look for the light. Believe in the fireflies. I'm coming. <clears throat> How was your morning? Want one? No, I don't want one. Well, I have some interesting news for you. Where were you, Tess? West End District. Hey, we had a drop to make. We. We had a drop to make. Well, you wanted to be left alone, remember? 
So I'll take one guess. The uh, whole deal went south and the client made off with our pills. Is that about <laughs> right? Deal went off without a hitch. Enough ration cards to last us a couple of months. Easy. You want to explain this? I was on my way back here and I got jumped by these two assholes, all right? And yeah, they got a few good hits in, but... Look, I managed. Give me that. Are these assholes still with us? Well, that's funny. At least find out who they were. Yeah, look, they were a couple of nobodies. They don't matter. What matters is that Robert fucking sent them. Our Robert. He knows that we're after him. He figures he's gonna get us first. Son of a bitch, he's smart. No. He's not smart enough. I know where he's hiding. Like hell you do. Old warehouse in Area 5. Can't say for how long, though. Well, I'm ready now, yeah? Oh, I can do now. Checkpoint's still open. We got a few hours left until curfew. Well, we better hurry up then. So when I first played this game, I was pretty shocked to see that it jumped 20 years into the future. You know, I wasn't expecting that. That was that was pretty wild. So I'm guessing that he was probably around like, you know, around 30 years old when it first started, because that would make sense, you know, for him to have a daughter of that age. He probably had her uh, with his wife when he was pretty young. And then now he's probably closer to 50. Also, from the road signs we saw in the opening cinematic, they started off in Texas. But it doesn't say that here, they're now in Boston. So I guess over the course of 20 years, he sort of migrated to the Northeast section of the United States. And then throughout the game, he'll eventually make his way back out West. But there is that jump as well. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Yeah, I'm gonna be <laughs> admiring the scenery as we go, because it's just so photorealistic. It's just insane. Wait, are you serious? I gotta serve the damn papers this morning. I've been selected for outside work duty. Oh, that's such crap. The soldiers are supposed to handle the outside. I'll make sure to tell them that. Attention. Citizens are required to carry all city personnel is mandatory. Look at that. Ration line hasn't opened yet. It must be running low again. So the world is still in chaos, but I guess there's uh, some government function still going on. This organization called FEDRA. Look at all this action here. Seems like more people are getting infected. That just means more people are sneaking. What's up, Joel? Hey. You hear they took Marianne? What happened? Came and snatched her in the middle of the night. Said she was a firefly. You believe that shit? Mm, better not mention the fireflies too loudly. You don't want the wrong person hearing you. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. They fucking lynched him. The entire squad? Yeah. The way I heard it, they lined him up in the street and cut him up. Retribution and shit. If we ever lose control of this place to the stragglers, that's what'll happen to us. That would never go down here. Any stragglers... Checkpoints to your left, sir. <laughs> it's too cool. It's those goddamn fireflies. They keep stirring the population up. We put an end to them. That's how you solve this shit. We agree on that. I got us all new papers. They shouldn't give us any static. All right. Drive on through. 
that's another thing that's amazing is that besides the graphics, the audio is just so on point. That's not, I didn't even notice that earlier. That skyscraper is just totally leaning on that other building. That's insane. I mean, they just went all out with the graphics. It's just crazy. I could just stare at this game all day like it's artwork. See you later. There you go. What's your business here? Got the day off. Visiting a friend. All right. Move on through. Thanks. Did you see that person just open the door and go in instead of like disappearing at the door like most games do? <laughs> so much for the easy route. Patch yourself up, all right? We're gonna close all the checkpoints. We're gonna have to go around the outside. Outside the wall. Or we could just let Robert go. <sighs> Cute. Hey Tess, you see that shit? I was there. Hey, how's the East Tunnel looking? Yeah, it's clear. I just used it. No patrols. And where are you off to? Gonna pay Robert a visit. <sighs> you too? Who else is looking for him? Uh, Marlene? She's been asking around, trying to find him. Marlene? What do the Fireflies need with Robert? <laughs> you think she'd tell me? Well, what did you tell her? The truth. I got no idea where he's hiding. Good man. Hey, you stay out of trouble, all right? Military's gonna be out in force soon. Yeah, see you around. Marlene looking for Robert? What do you make of that? I don't like it. We better find him before the fireflies do. This is us. Hey guys, how's it going? Shit's stirring up out there. How are we looking over here? Uh, it's been quiet. No signs of military from the factory. That's what I like to hear. Guess it's back to board games in the post-apocalypse. <laughs> Joel, give me a hand with this. Yeah, I'll take it easy out there. So I guess they're sort of part of a survivor network, at least in the beginning of this game. <clears throat> oh, God, this place reeks. I need to watch what they throw away down here. Let there be light. Let's grab our gear. Our backpacks are still here from last time. me up four bullets look at that i guess with no one around to make new ammo that makes sense you ready yes ma'am <laughs> ammo and gasoline and clean water those would be worth gold in the post-apocalypse come on Go on. 
Got it. Be careful. When am I not? <laughs> that a trick question? Ain't been out here in a while. It's like we're on a date. Well, I am the romantic type. Got your ways. Where's the ladder? It's got to be around here somewhere. <laughs> got it. Great, bring it over. <laughs> Not only can you climb ladders in this game, but you can also move them around. <laughs> Ladies first. Lady, you must be thinking of someone else. <laughs> it's all relative. This way. Whenever you see that circle, that means there might be some resources, but not in this case. Oh, but I see some in here. So this is just a firefly pendant. The fireflies seem to be sort of a resistance group. Although, ironically, they're fighting for the restoration of government. As opposed to, like, military rule, I guess. Down through here. You think Robert's still got our guns? For his sake, he better. Look, once we get our merchandise back, it should be easy to unload. Well, speaking of merchandise, when's that next shipment due? We'll need next month. More pills, lots of ammo. And well, he always shows up with something. Should keep us busy for a while. Hold up, spores. So it seems you can get infected two ways in this game, either breathing in these spores or getting bitten by an infected. Where the hell are all these coming from? The place was clear last time. They're coming out of something. Stay alert. <laughs> There's our culprit. Body's not that old. Better keep your eyes and ears open. It's just crazy. One of the things that's so realistic about this uh, version of a zombie apocalypse story is that the creatures are scientifically possible. You know what I mean? Like they're not sort of mystical or magical or unexplained like in The Walking Dead. The science behind the cordyceps is actually possible, you know? Like if it ever made a jump from insects to mammals uh, and eventually humans, this this could actually really happen. I should be able to fit through here. Oh, shit. You okay? Yeah. Damn ceiling's falling apart. Be careful. This way. Easy. She's low. Watch it, watch it. Help me. My mask broke. Don't, don't leave me to turn. Please. What do you want to do? I'm actually going to leave him because... First of all, innocent civilian. <laughs> Second of all, we, we need the ammo. You know what I'm saying? So, sorry, buddy. Now, why we couldn't pull him out, I don't know. Maybe he's already infected. Come back. Up 
bad. You hear that? Shh, shh. So Joel's got this sort of acute hearing ability. It's almost like Daredevil's radar, but uh, we'll just go with it. You know what I mean? Now, the thing about the zombies in this game is, like I said, they're not actually undead. So they do have bodily functions, such as breathing or, you know, blood flow or getting shot and things like that. So uh, you can strangle them or break their necks or whatever. I turned off the flashlight just for realism purposes, but uh, for some reason they, they don't respond to light and dark. Uh, so I could have kept my flashlight on that whole time. All right, we are going to sneak past these psychos and let them feed. Although I am going to take a peek in here. So I think there's some... Oh, I'm already full on that. Here we go. So I'll let you guys pause these notes and read them. They got infected trying to sneak into the zone. As much as everyone complains about it, can all of these poor bastards really live in a Jesus. <laughs> all right, that's all of them. Let's hope so. Let's head back into the city. Fresh air. That's the one thing I love about it. I fucking hate the smell of the city. <sighs> Through here. Cover the entrance. I got it. Damn it. Plank fell down. Be a deer, would you? I'll get it. Here, pass it to me. It's a bit heavy. <laughs> I think I can handle it. All right. Get your ass up here. Let's move. Bossy today. Make sure there ain't any soldiers around. It's clear. Come on. Just so you guys know, there's not a whole lot of sprinting that I'm able to do 
in this early part of the game. He's just kind of walking at the speed that you're supposed to walk at. They probably want you to try to soak in the, uh, the atmosphere. Is that a thing I can get? I never noticed that before. Interesting. It's a firefly pendant. Maybe I can shoot it down. Or oh, that's exactly what you're supposed to do. Cool. And grab. Okay, now it's not letting me grab it. Oh well. First time I noticed that thing anyway. Did make a difference in my earlier playthroughs, so whatever. Coast is clear. No soldiers, none of Robert's men, yeah? You know he's expecting us. Well, that'll make it more interesting. <laughs> Good to go. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Pretty lady, how you doing today? I heard you Not right now, Terrence. No, 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 it's, it's good. Look, Not I got the car. now. You hear me? Okay. You can do that. You got a huffy puppy back. If you ain't got ration cards, don't even waste my time. I'm not interested in bartering for bullets. <laughs> Barbecue rat. Hurry up. You're starving. Keep your shirt on. Next batch coming right up. They don't even think about cutting in line. Fucking A. The weight one is wrapped forever. You touch it, you buy it. Tess, it's been a while. We don't visit us anymore. Leak. Sit back. Oh, sorry, guys. Didn't realize you two were together. Go ahead. Get up! Get up! Who's that? An old headache. Don't ask. <laughs> These people just getting along with their lives. Let's see what this is. The guy's been hoarding all sorts of shit in the factory. Whoa, whoa, hold on, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was Marlene. <laughs> it's like, stay away from my teddy bear. There we go. Normally it gives you a little prompt. Robert. 
You come through here? Half hour ago. He went back to the wharf. He's there now. good for you. Our beef isn't with you. We just want Robert. You don't want to do this. Turn the fuck around and leave now. I'm not going anywhere without Robert. Bitch, I will bash your skull unless you turn around and get your dumb ass out of here. Fuck this. Take cover! You ready? Yeah. I'll you. cover you. Get the angle on them. <laughs> okay, it's on. There you are. Come on, bitch. He was dead for a second there. Nicely done, Texas. You too. How the hell did he get all these guys? If Robert's good at one thing, it's writing blank checks. <clears throat> Not going through here. All right, come on. Give me your hand. There you go. Over here, Joel. How do you know they're coming? Two of our guys died trying to take Tess out. I guarantee that she and Joel are on their way here right now to get Robert. Jesus. We shouldn't have taken this job. Not our call. Let's spread That's out and make sure Texas. no one's creeping around in here. down on Jordan Street, and all these soldiers showed up with a group of about five civs, all in handcuffs. Let me guess. Fireflies? Yep. I lined them up against the wall, and bang, 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 they just executed all of them. <sighs> Shit. Yeah, I hear it's like that all over the city. <clears throat> cracking down on them hard. Oh, look, buddy. You can't do anything stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, that's teamwork. Thank God you're here. Let's search the area. Hey, 
consolidate the crates in the south warehouse. Lives are locked up. Good. Let's do another once over and then head out. It's getting close to curfew. What about Robert? Who's he holding up with tonight? The guy's too paranoid to stay here by himself. Fuck if I know. We'll check in with the others and come up with something. Okay. Gotta have a lot of patience in this game if you wanna get the timing down right and not get overwhelmed. I'm going to go upstairs first, work my way down. Tactically speaking, it's always better to take the higher ground. Two of them. Yeah, to be careful about this. Do you hear that? Watch yourself, all right? Might just be one guy left. Okay, so that dude downstairs. Sweet. All right, we did it without taking any damage. We should have brought more people. They just slow us down. Yeah, you're right. Come on, the docks are this way. Let's do this. Just checking for ammo. Yeah, well, we lost our contacts in the north, lost our contacts in the south. Shit, I don't know who's left out there to sell us stuff. This is why we're taking shitty protection. Let's be smart about this. There's a lot of them. 
You're insane. Going outside the wall is suicide. It's always good to get him out of view of other uh, accomplices. Nice. a shiv but I had to get out of there real quick. Right here! Get him Tess, what are you doing? Five point. Let's check Shut over here. Slip. Kind of thought she was going to get him there, but <laughs> maybe not. Here we go again. Fan out! Good to have you around. A little distraction never hurt anybody. Although in his case it did. Okay, so I see one over there. And one right there. There might just be two left. Did you go to Saga ship? Well, good. What about you? Nothing here either. Keep searching. I'll search out. <laughs> Hopefully he's just the last one. I think he might be the last one. That 
that office. Robert must have run in there. Let's go. Yep, there he is. Get, back, get the fuck back! You just want to talk, Robert? We well, got fucking nothing to talk about. Put your gun down. Now go fuck yourself. He's running. <laughs> Robert! Joel, this way! Come on, he ran in here! I always laugh when people run out of ammo and then throw the gun. Joel, this way! Hello, Robert. <laughs> Tess. Joel. No hard feelings, right? None at all. All right. <laughs> God damn it! We missed you. Look, whatever it is you heard, it ain't true, okay? I just want to say... The guns. You want to tell us where the guns are? <sighs> yeah, sure, but... It's complicated. Right. Hmm. Look, all right, just hear me out on this. I got to... <laughs> Fuck. Stop, stop, stop! Oh, Quit your squirming. You were saying? I sold him. Excuse me. I didn't have much of a choice. I owed someone. You owed us. I'd say you bet on the wrong horse. I just need more time. Just, uh, give me a week. You know, I might have done that if you hadn't tried to fucking kill me. Oh, come on, it won't Who like has that. our guns? I can't. You right. Just give me a couple of <laughs> oh, Who has our guns? It's the Fireflies. I owe the Fireflies. What? Look, they're basically all dead. We, we can just, just go in there, finish them off, we get the guns. What do you say? Come on. Yeah, fuck those fireflies. Let's go get them. That is a stupid idea. Well, now what? We go get our merchandise back. How? I don't know. We explain it to them. Look, let's, let's go find a firefly. You won't have to look very far. There you go. Queen firefly. Why are you here? Business. You aren't looking so hot. Where's Robert? I needed him alive. The guns he gave you, they weren't his to sell. I want them back. Doesn't work like that, Tess. The hell it doesn't. I paid for those guns. You want them back? You're gonna have to earn them. How many cards are we talking about? <laughs> I don't give a damn about ration cards. I need something smuggled out of the city. You do that, I'll give you your guns back. Then some. How do we know you got them? Well, I hear the military's been wiping you guys out. You're right about that. I'll show you the weapons. Search the area. Yes, sir. I gotta move. What's it gonna be? I wanna see those guns. Follow me. We gotta get out of here. Hey, now. You want this right, 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 We gotta move. You're here. I know a way around this. Come on. Do 
said Tess. Alright, she wants me to go first. I was trying to be a gentleman. What's left of them? What do you think I'm turning to you guys? This way. So why now? We've been quiet. Been planning on leaving the city, but they need a scapegoat. They've been trying to rile us up. Looks like they did. We're trying to defend ourselves. Give me a hand with this. Hey, are you holding up? I'll live. Hold up. Soldiers. That's the way out. The door into the bridge. I ain't a big fan of these odds. We can sneak by them, even though I know that's not your style. We'll see how it goes. Let's get moving. <clears throat> we need to get to that door. So she took the one out in front of the door. That's good. Buy you anything to kill me. Kill me. He'll never let you leave. Sweet. So far, so good. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. <laughs> There's one more. 
Where is he? There he is. Which way is he gonna go? Gotcha. <laughs> you can always tell when it's the last guy because uh, Joel doesn't strangle him out. He just kicks him in the face. I'm just going to take a second here. This is just amazing. I mean, they decorate some stuff that most people don't even see. You know what I mean? I mean, look at all this little trash and stuff down there. They just went to that extra effort. Amazing. Go on. Where are we going, Merlene? This way. It's not far now. How are you holding up? I'm running on fumes, but I'll make it. The place is right up ahead. Attention. Curfew is now in full effect. Anyone caught outside without proper authorization will be arrested and prosecuted. The hell are we smuggling? I'll show you. Look at that. Whenever you look up at a light or, you know, at a window or something, you have that dirty camera lens effect. That is Joel, give me a hand with this. Such a nice touch, you know. Whoa. Come on now. Get on up. Fuck away from me. Let her go. Recruiting kind of young, aren't you? She's not one of mine. Oh, shit. What happened? Don't worry, this is fixable. I got his help. But I can't come with you. Well, then I'm staying. Ellie, we won't get another shot at this. Hey, we're smuggling her? There's a crew of fireflies that'll meet you at the Capitol building. That's not exactly close. You're capable. You hand her off, come back, the weapons are yours. Double what Robert sold me. Speaking of which, where are they? Back in our camp. <laughs> We're not smuggling shit until I see them. You'll follow me. You can verify the weapons. I can get patched up. But she's not crossing to that part of town. I want Joel to watch over her. Whoa, whoa, I don't oh, think shit, that's the I'm best not idea. Ellie. Him? How do you know them? I was close with his brother, Tommy. Said if I was ever in a jam, I could rely on him. Was that before or after he left your little militia group? He left you too. He was a good man. I could just take her to the North Tunnel and wait for me there. Jesus Christ. It's just cargo, Joel. Marlene. No more talking. You'll be fine. <sighs> now go with him. Don't take long. And you, stay close. Let's go. And we meet Ellie, co-star of the game. She's also the star of the sequel. All right, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. We've barely scratched the surface and it's already got me immersed again. You know, much like the TV series, The Walking Dead, the zombies, so to speak, are only half the threat 
in this uh, post-apocalyptic world, you know? Humans are just as much of a threat, if not more so. And the fact that you have to make every bullet count is such a challenge. Now, in case you're wondering, I decided to play this on the normal difficulty setting because the jump from normal to hard is actually more extreme than you realize. You get much less resources and double the encounters. So I wanted this to be more of a cinematic experience for you guys. I'm still gonna die a bunch in the game, but you should only play it on hard if you've played the game before and you don't mind getting a little frustrated sometimes. Some players love that adrenaline rush, so I completely understand. I can't even imagine what the extreme setting is like. Probably a lot of waiting around for just the perfect moment to move from cover to cover. I thought that might be a little boring for you guys. But anyway, many more episodes in the works. Be sure to subscribe for more awesome videos like this, and join the student council over on Patreon for early exclusives like this, as well as a bunch of other awesome perks. See you in the next video. Peace out.